one-sided affair in NATO's favor to help Ukraine. The question is getting all of that political will and the money and the action into this. Elmera, good morning. Good morning. Ready? In English, yes. Uh, today we'll be updating the Council as to the progress of uh, the Cyprus Maritime Corridor to Gaza. Uh, the first shipment uh, of 200 tons has arrived in Gaza and has been safely distributed. A second larger shipment is ready to depart as we speak. Uh, we now have, therefore, proof of concept, and the aim is to continue in a systematic and scale-up uh, way uh, the flow of shipments to Gaza. For that to have happened, Israel has lifted the naval blockade of Gaza exclusively for the Amalthea plan. Uh, the aim is to continue, as I said, with uh, the logistical uh, upgrade of the whole structure. And to this end, uh, we continue to see the usefulness of the land and their crossings, and we insist that uh, this is a complementary and additive uh, effort. Uh, we need to uh, uh, thank uh, the Egyptian and the Jordanian side for all the work they have been doing for all this time. And the Cyprus initiative is, as I said, complementary to those, to those efforts. Cyprus has been working on this for a long time, and the support by the United States and the UAE has been instrumental for the materialization of this project. We now uh, see that there is a growing international humanitarian coalition, and for that we are extremely pleased. Next steps. Uh, the first thing, we need to scale up, as I said, the capacity in terms of uh, the departure point, also in relation uh, to the means of transport, and also diversification as to the distribution network. Secondly, it's the establishment of, of a fund for, for the financing of the project. And finally, the successful and effective integration of interested parties. To this end, there is a meeting scheduled on the 21st of March in Cyprus with the participation of more than 40 countries, exactly in order to see operationally how we can proceed forward. We have established uh, a maritime corridor for Gaza, which is a lifeline for the people in Gaza. And to this end, we'll continue to work with our partners. Thank the you. Meeting on the, of March to join language on, uh, the meeting on the 21st of March is to raise funds. Who do you want funds for and for uh, what? The meeting on the 21st is exactly to see how we can uh, scale up the operational capacity, also in terms of uh, how we can have uh, additional uh, means of uh, transport and also in terms of distribution network. And it's the establishment of the fund. I'm going to discuss the modalities as in relation to that, the ring fencing of the fund, because this is going to be a project that is for the long run and it needs to be financed properly in a secure uh, way with accountability through which the countries that want to participate would be able to uh, submit their pledges. Why they, they you will participate Sorry? in this meeting? Will they you will participate? Uh, the US already on the ground, there is a team from uh, EU, from DG ECHO. They have been very supportive, especially the President of the European Commission. And uh, we, we are using their expertise in their logistical capacity, um, both on the ground and in terms of the planning for the fund and for all the other aspects of the world. Do we have an update on the, on the jetty that the Americans are constructing? Uh, that is something that uh, we have information that is proceeding uh, uh, with a plan that probably is going to bring them the construction closer to what was originally uh, discussed about. This is going to be very important because it's going to enable uh, a more um, uh, systematic um, flow of, of aid. And this is something that the American side has been working on. Uh, it's, be, it's going to be in cooperation with uh, interested parties, Cyprus included, and that would be a game changer in terms of the destination point. Why you so long time for the, to establish five months to establish this corridor? Why? This is a problem of uh, logistical problems. Is because I think Cyprus side mm. pledged for, for, for during Yes, we have, Long been, week. we have been pushing for this and trying to explain this for five months, as you rightly say. Uh, we are happy with the result that finally the international community and important players have seen the value of this. And uh, we are looking forward. Uh, we have done all the work for a long time. We have been alone in all this. 
But uh, what is important is at the end of the day that this is happening because the people in Gaza need all the aid that can get in. You said closer, closer to what, sorry, the shore? The jetty will be closer to the shore? I've said that the jetty is closer, the, the completion of the construction uh, is going to be closer in terms of time to now rather than what was perhaps originally envisaged. Now, now the has already arrived to Gaza, which was where the biggest difficulties in uh, yes. the whole procedure. Uh, from the first ship we've seen a number of uh, minor issues of technical nature uh, that we have incorporated uh, in the updating of the planning. Uh, there are issues, minor issues in terms of the platforms, of the, um, uh, of the barges, in terms of the a small pier that has been constructed. Uh, all these are issues that uh, delay, in a way, the actual um, distribution and the, the arrival and distribution, but uh, no major issue has arisen. We have dealt with this and we are moving forward with the next uh, uh, bigger uh, shipment uh, in the next, uh, hopefully, in the next couple are of days. Are there any estimations on how many ships could leave the port of Larnaca each week? Estimations and the capacity. Uh, we have the capacity to uh, continue with um, a consistent flow. That, of course, depends. That, of course, depends uh, on the pledges by countries that are interested of the vessels necessary, but also, more importantly, of the distribution network on the other side in Gaza that would be able uh, to. Uh, make good use of the aid in a way that is efficient. So we cannot overburden that system. And this is why we're looking into uh, building up the capacity in terms of adding up uh, recipients of, uh, of the aid in terms of the distribution. And this is something that is going to be discussed, of course, and it's been discussed, but on the 21st, it's going to be one of the issues exactly on the agenda. Can you tell us about the inspection procedures? Sorry, the Israeli authorities are doing their inspections in Cyprus, and they say they're happy with it. Can you tell us what they're letting through, for example, that they're not letting through by land? Can you tell us what they're doing there? There is a protocol in place, a security protocol that has been designed some time now in cooperation with the Israeli side, because this is, as you can understand, uh, the pragmatic thing to do. Uh, and that involves uh, a very um, detailed security screening so that it's uh, certain that the cargo is sterile. Uh, sterile. And uh, that, of course, at this moment, it involves primarily uh, food, food supplies. And, of course, the next uh, step would be uh, medicine and so on. So it's a, it's a common, um, it's an inspection uh, protocol with uh, the active observation of the Israeli side because we need to make sure that there is a security element that is being satisfied so that uh, the naval blockade would have been lifted, as has been the case, and this occasion. Which authority Thank you very much. The, Sorry? Which, which authority uh, received and distributes? At the moment, as you know, it's the World Central Kitchen, but they're looking up to adding uh, to that capacity. And Thank you.